Hi everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. I'm making a quick video for those of you that want to know how you can screencast your own videos in high definition for free. And all you got to do is install Google Chrome. And this is Google Chrome that we've launched. And I want you to look all the way to the right in this little menu bar. You're going to left click here. Then you're going to scroll down to more tools. And then you're going to watch, come down to extensions, left click on extensions. And you're going to install Screencastify like I have already installed. But you haven't installed it yet, so you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says get more extensions, left click. And search the store for Screencastify. And uh, here it is down here, Screencastify, left click. And you'll see that I've already added it, but you would have not. You're going to just click on Add to Chrome. And when you do, this little film icon will appear in the toolbar in the upper right corner of your screen. You're going to left click on the screen, film icon. You're going to have three, co three choices, tab, desktop, or cam. Tab records the tabs, these up here. The cam, if you've got a camcorder and the entire desktop, that's the best one. That records everything on your entire desktop, whether you minimize Chrome or not. And then you want to make sure that the microphone is checked and the green light is going when you're talking and your system audio is checked. And you want to, if you want to turn on your laptop webcam, you turn this on and you can, but I prefer to have it off to be remain anonymous. So if it's checked, your webcam will be on. If it's unchecked, you're only showing the video screen. Otherwise, it'll embed your face in there from your web camera. Next, you want to click record desktop at the bottom. And then you get three more choices, entire screen, Chrome web store, or new tab. And you're going to want to click entire screen. So you check this. And now you want to share the audio too. Make sure that's checked. Next thing you want to click is share. And when you do, you're going to go live. It's going to do a countdown and you are live. Two, three, two, one, you're on. Here we go. So we three, click. two, one. And now we're live. And so everything we're showing on the screen, whether I minimize this or not, is live. And then when you're done, you're going to click stop sharing. And when that happens, and now we're live, it pops back up. So everything we're showing on the screen. Pause this. So it's just recorded what I'm saying. And here is your. Here is your recording that you just that we just recorded. If you click on this, this is the library. And here you can see all the movies you made. This is going to be in your temporary folder. OK. And then we can go back and click on. Uh, so let's say we click on this one. Testing one, two, three, okay, test. This previous video. To share it, you want to want to put your button up so you can delete it. You can crop it, edit. You want to click on share because we're going to put this on YouTube. So you click on this. You're going to have two choices. You can put on a Google Drive or you can throw it on to YouTube, you click on YouTube, and then you're going to click on your channel, you're going to type in your username and your password, and here you can get rid of your channel, you can put multiple channels on here, and you click on this. Once you do that, then you upload it. Now the video gets uploaded to YouTube. Oh, by the way, um, here you can make it public or private. I really recommend you put private or you can make it right to the public eye so the whole public can see it. But you probably want to make it private if you want to do any more editing because everybody start getting your viewing it. So then I click on upload. 
and you can see it uploading here. It's our now it's uploaded. Okay. And then we'll go to my YouTube channel. And we'll go start from the finish. Go to your channel. Then over here you want to go to video manager. Sorry for the slow connection. Really slow connection. Okay. Here you can see that I just posted this untitled screencast. That's how you know that it was sent by Screencastify. It says this. So there's your default title. And if you want to do any further editing, you want to give it an intro like I do, you want to go down here and it says create. Left click. And then you want to left click again, video editor. And all the videos that you've uploaded just put into this folder. And uh, see that I've already made, you can, you can add a bunch of videos all together. So if you want to make your own intro, like I did, there's websites to do this. So you can add your intro. You can put in photos. For photo slides, you close this out. And then you can put, drag your other video just made. And when it's done, testing one, two, three. You create video. And then once it's, while still being uh, processed, you can go back into your video manager and start editing it from there. And give it a title. And basically name it whatever you want. You play around it. Here's your link in the description box where it's, you can put all your hyperlinks and your video links into here. And then when you're ready to, uh, there's some pretty cool ones here, advanced settings. You can uh, say this approved. And then uh, when you're ready to go live, you click on public and you hit publish. And you can see everything that's being shared on the same time. If you've got a G Plus account, make sure this is highlighted so everybody's on your G Plus will be updated. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps for anybody that wants to publish their own videos. Have a blessed day.